remember, camel doesn't come, it's a color. Right. You need more breaths to sing right. camel. It's not holding the weights. Right. So I want you just to sing this. Just sing it. I don't care about dynamics. Just sing.
know, when I started singing, I'm 38. When I started singing, I won my first major competition when I was 18 years old. I had no idea how to, how to do anything. I just, and I was no YouTube. There was none. There was barely any right CDs, baby. Right? Yeah, CDs. <laughs> there was none of that. There was laser discs. You guys were laser discs? The yeah, used to have those big laser discs. And, you know, that was the first time we could actually see singers. But you guys have such a resource in YouTube. It's not about copying. It's about studying. Because the singers that sang in the 20s and 30s is a very different technique. Well, not technique. It's a very different sound. Like when you hear me and Anderson versus hearing Denise Gray sing. Or when you hear um, Rosa Ponceau, who's a dramatic soprano, versus like Gulagina now, who's a dramatic soprano, or, or, or uh, um, uh, what do I call this? <laughs> you know, or um, uh, Aprilia Nilo, who was like kind of the heir to that repertoire um, right after Tamali, before, before Price sang. The very stuff, uh, Milanoff was the premier, um, Zygmuntoff was the premier, soprano. and then for the tenor stuff, you have Gurley and Morelli, and you know, Delmonico was my favorite, he was like such a dangerous singer, but it was just exciting, you know. <laughs> and, but I mean, when you, you have to listen and study and go to the thing, when you hear Kirsten Flaschow, who was a great Wagnerian soprano, I mean, man, that voice was just creamy and beautiful, and you can understand every word, but the, the, the color was so you know, you cannot compromise being correct. You can't compromise the color and beauty of your own voice to be correct. I know in school we're learning all the diction and the IPA, we're learning all these things. But when you get out into the real world, yes, you have to learn those, know those things. But you have to present your voice and what it does and the beauty and the tone and the color. It's beautiful when you do that. The other one is like she's in the wrong class. She's not that big. And you're not a Wagnerian yet. It's not, that's not what that voice is. But this is a good already introduction to singing that repertoire because it's lyric, but you have to sing it like you're singing. You have to sing it on your body. Mm -hmm. You know? You want to do a little bit more, maybe the middle part of it, just to get that.
earlier. Can we take the breath? It's already there.